Hey guys, Sasha here with another tutorial for CSGO server admins. In this video I'm going to show you how to use server-side avatars. It basically means you can assign pictures to certain Steam accounts and thus giving you full control over uh, all the avatars of the players on your server. It's a very powerful uh, and useful feature, especially for event managers, and I'm going to show you an example right now. It's always used in the CSGO majors where the players get um, their portraits as the Steam avatar. These avatars are assigned by the server to each Steam account. And I'm going to show you how to do that on your own server. So let's get started with the pictures. For the pictures you need uh, PNG file format pictures. Um, they need to be 64 by 64 pixels. And as so far as I know, there's really all the requirements. So if you're done with the pictures, we now need to assign the Steam accounts to the pictures. Um, in order to do that, we need the Steam ID 64 of the Steam account. So I want to assign this picture right here, the first picture, um, to this Steam account. So I'm just going to the Steam URL up here and I'm copying the Steam ID 64. And I'm setting this as the file name for this picture. There we go. This picture is now assigned to this Steam account. Now for the second picture, uh, the same principle goes. Uh, for the cactus picture, I would like to assign my own, my own account. So in my case, I'm using a custom Steam ID. So the Steam ID 64 is not in the URL. In this case, you're going to copy the URL and go on steamid.io. Paste it in there, hit on lookup, and in here you can uh, look up the steamid64, which you're going to need for the file. And this is going to be assigned to the cactus. So the cactus picture is now assigned to my account. That means when I'm joining the server, I'm going to have this cactus as my avatar. So before we continue, we have to convert these images into a file format the server can actually read and use. So mark all your files, copy, and go into your CSGO's uh, main, uh, yeah, in your CSGO game directory, the director, uh, directory where the maps and Replace folder, sound folder, and everything is. Create another folder called avatars. Enter. And in here, paste the PNG files. Now we need in game. Uh, now we need to go in game to convert those files. So here we are, um, converting the images is uh, really easy, just open the console in your main menu, enter svcheats1, and the second command is cl avatar convert rgb. Hit enter, you get a list of all the files converted, and now we can leave the game again. So now you're going to notice in your avatars folder next to your PNG files, you're also going to have the RGB files. Technically you can just delete your PNG files now, but I like to keep them just in case I uh, need them for some reason. So the next step is now to launch your FTP client. Um, a lot of people use FileZilla. I'm using WinSCP. So open your FTP client program and connect to your server via FTP. Now you have to go to the server main directory. So the directory where the maps folder and the CFG folder and everything is. Here you have also to create a folder called avatars, which you have to enter. And in here, copy the RGB files you generated in game. So 
now the RGB files are uploaded on the server. So they are ready to use and they have the Steam ID 64. Um, so they are assigned to the accounts they have to be assigned to. So now we need to in-game, uh, to go in-game on our server and enable server-side avatars so they can be actually used. So obviously for this we're we want to just connect to our server first. There we are. Let's go. Enter your Archon password. I'm gonna lower the volume real quick. Enter your uh, Archon password. Um, I'm also going to kick the bots real quick. Well, in my case, the uh, Archon is not working, or I cannot connect to the Archon, at least. Another possibility you have is if you're having a web interface, like I do, you just can uh, use the, uh, yeah, the console right here. I'm going to use that just instead. Usually you would use the Archon if you're in-game, but in this case it's not connecting for whatever reason. So, in order to enable avatars, uh, which are server-sided, type in SV Reliable Avatar Data and set the value to 2. Um, let's test this out. The server should uh, have the server uh, the uh, server side avatar set now. So let's try it out. Alright, once again, gotta join the server. It's kinda not responding here. I'm gonna copy. Gonna copy the uh, IP real quick. That's German internet for you. So connect to your server. And now, as you can see on the scoreboard, I'm actually having the cactus um, as the yeah avatar. So pretty much a success. We can quit the game again. I have the cactus in game on the server as the uh, picture. However, you will notice that my actual uh, current Steam profile. Uh, avatar is the M3 badge, so it does work, and I hope it works for you too. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you're having any problems, you just can add me on Steam or write in the comments. I'm sure other people can help you too. And uh, have fun with your service.